welcome to edupediaworld.com this is swamja j nair your online biology tutor chapter is human health and disease in this chapter we are going to discuss about human health and different infectious and non infectious diseases what is health health does not simply means absence of disease or physical fitness it could be defined as a state of complete physical mental and social well being when people are healthy they are more efficient at work this increases productivity and brings economic prosperity health also increases longevity of people and reduces the infant and maternal mortality balanced diet personal hygiene and regular exercise are very important to maintain good health yoga has been practiced since the time immemorial to achieve the physical and mental health awareness about disease and their effect on different bodily functions vaccinations or immunization against infectious disease proper disposal of waste control of vectors and maintenance of hygienic food and water resources are necessary for achieving good health diseases when the functioning of one or more organs or systems of the body is adversely affected characterized by various signs and symptoms we say that we are not healthy that is we have a disease diseases can be broadly grouped into infectious and non infectious diseases diseases which are easily transmitted from one person to another are called the infectious diseases infectious diseases are very common and everyone of us suffers from these at some time or other some of the infectious diseases like aids are very fatal among the non infectious diseases cancer is the major cause of death drug and alcohol abuse also affect our health adversely pathogens a wide range of organisms belonging to bacteria viruses fungi protozoans helminths etc could cause diseases in man such diseases causing organisms are called pathogens all parasites are therefore pathogens as they cause harm to the host by living in or on them the pathogens can enter our body by various means and multiply and interfere with the normal vital activities resulting in morphological and functional damage pathogens have to adapt to life within the environment of the host for example the pathogens that enter the gut must know a way of surviving in the stomach at low ph and resisting the various digestive enzymes we are going to discuss few pathogens and disease caused by them in the coming video common diseases and causative agents these are some examples of the common diseases seen in humans and the causative agent typhoid and pneumonia is caused by bacterial infection common cold by virus malaria and amoebic dysentery by protozoans ascariasis by helminthes and elephantiasis filariasis also by helminthes and ringworm by fungi typhoid salmonella typhi is a pathogenic bacterium which causes the typhoid fever in human beings these pathogens generally enter the small intestine through food and water contaminated with them and migrate to other organs through blood sustained a high fever that is 39 degree to 40 degree celsius weakness stomach pain constipation headache and loss of appetite are some of the common symptoms of this disease intestinal perforation and death may occur in severe cases typhoid fever could be confirmed by vital test pneumonia bacteria like streptococcus pneumonia and haemophilus influenza are responsible for the disease pneumonia in humans which infect the alveoli that is the air filled sacs of the lungs as a result of the infection the alveoli get filled with fluid leading to severe problems in respiration The symptoms of pneumonia include fever, chills, cough and headache. In severe cases, the lips and finger nails may turn grey to bluish in color. A healthy person acquires infection 
by inhaling the droplets or aerosols released by an infected person or even by sharing glasses and utensils with infected person common cold rhinoviruses represent the group of viruses which cause one of the most infectious human ailments the common cold they infect the nose and respiratory passage but not the lungs the common cold is characterized by nasal congestion and discharge sore throat hoarseness cough headache tiredness etc and which usually lasts for 3 to 7 days droplets resulting from cough or sneezes of an infected person are either inhaled directly or transmitted through contaminated objects the objects such as pens books cups door knobs computer keyboards or mouse etc and this causes infection in a healthy person malaria plasmodium a tiny protozoan is responsible for malaria different species of plasmodium that is pyvax or plasmodium malaria and plasmodium falciparum are responsible for different types of malaria of these malignant malaria caused by plasmodium falciparum is the most serious one and can even be fatal plasmodium enters the human body as sporocytes that is the infectious form through the bite of the infected female anopheles mosquito the parasite initially multiply in the liver cells and then attack the red blood cell that is the rbc resulting in the rupture the rupture of the rbc is associated with the release of a toxic substance called hemocy which is responsible for the chill and high fever recurring every 3 to 4 days when a female anopheles mosquito bites an infected person these parasites enters the mosquito's body and undergo further development the parasites multiply within them to form sporocytes that are stored in their salivary gland when these mosquitoes bite a human the sporocytes are introduced into his or her body thereby initiating the events in mentioned above this is the stages in the life cycle of plasmodium here you can see when the mosquito bites another human the sporocytes are injected with the bite then the parasite or sporocytes reach the liver through blood the parasites reproduce asexually in the liver cell bursting the cells and release into the blood parasites reproduce asexually in the red blood cell bursting the red blood cells and causing the cycles of fever and other symptoms released parasites infect the new red blood cells this is the sexual stage of gametocytes develop in the red blood cells then this part is in the human host then the female mosquito take up the gametocytes from the blood as a meal and this was fertilization and development takes place in the mosquito intestine and then the mature infective stages or the sporocytes escape from the intestine and migrate to the mosquito salivary gland when this mosquito bites another human again the human will get the disease so it need two host mosquito host and the human host amebiasis or amoebic dysentery endamoeba histolica is a protozoan parasite in the large intestine of human which causes amebiasis or amoebic dysentery Symptoms of this disease include constipation, abdominal pain and cramps, the stools with excess mucus and blood clots. Houseflies act as a mechanical carrier and serve to transmit the parasite from fecals of the infected person to food and food products thereby contaminating them. Drinking water and food contaminated by the fecal matter are the main sources of infection of Endamoeba histolica. Ascariasis Ascaris an intestinal parasite which causes ascariasis symptoms of this disease include internal bleeding muscular pain fever anemia and blockage of intestinal passage the eggs of the parasite are excreted along with the fecals of the infected person which contaminate the soil water plants etc a healthy person acquires this infection through contaminated water vegetable fruits etc elephantiasis or filariasis wicheria or wicheria bancrofti and wicheria malayi the filarial worms 
cause a slowly developing chronic inflammation of the organs in which they live for many years. Usually, the lymphatic vessels of the lower limbs and the disease is called elephantiasis or filariasis. The genital organs are also often affected, resulting in the gross deformalities. The pathogens are transmitted to a healthy person through the bite of the female mosquito vector. Ringworms Many fungi belonging to the genera Microsporum, Trichophyton, Epidermophyton are responsible for ringworms, which is one of the most common infectious disease in man. Appearance of dry, scaly lesions on various parts of the body such as skin, nails and scalp are the main symptoms of the disease. These lesions are accompanied by intense itching. Heat and moisture help these fungi to grow, which makes them thrive in skin folds such as those in groins or between the toes. Ringworms are generally acquired from soil or by using towels, clothes or even the comb of the infected individuals. Maintenance of the personal and public hygiene is very important for prevention and control of all these infectious diseases. Thank you. In the next video, we will be discussing about immunity.